Hey guys, this is Introduce and Emmy, and we're back with another episode of Redline Tuesday. This one is from uh, grievousgirl.deviantart.com, so Grievous Girl, and this is her DeviantArt. Okay, so now we're going to redline it. I'm a little confused. I've been filming the episodes like all out of order today, and I'm just like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> But, um, so, uh, this one's painted, um, I've got this layer on now so you can see, but it, it's got, like, a more painterly style. I, I was originally thinking about painting over top of it, but I felt like, I don't know, I felt like it would get, like, what I was trying to do might get a little muddled, so I'm gonna just sketch over top of it for now, and we'll go from there. So, let's start with the head, and, um... When you're deciding like what anatomy to, to save, what I'd like to do is go for whatever I feel is drawn the best. Like whatever feels like the most confidently drawn thing on the picture. So like I feel like the eyes are really well drawn here. So I'm going to go with that. <laughs> That's going to be my, my starting point. And then... Um, just try not to make like the worst lines ever. So we're basically going to draw uh, a box around the head to try to figure out where everything goes and is. See, like I can't see under this fellow's hood, so I'm going to have to use a little bit of a guessing game here. Actually, going to uh, the box a little larger. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna turn the opacity down on my brush a little bit. I don't normally do that, but uh, I think for this, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. So uh, now we've got this box, and the human head kind of sits in like an elongated box, basically, like elongated, like this way. So this will help us sort of carve down to the, the, the features. Now I realize this character is an alien character. And uh, But I'm pretty sure it's a Star Wars alien, and they generally don't uh, have anatomy that's too far removed from ours. So I'm pretty sure this nose is supposed to come out in, in a way. I don't think it's supposed to be like flat against the face. So let's pull that nose out more.
And uh, the mouth is drawn really well. It's just kind of crooked a little bit. Okay, and now um, <laughs> again, so much of this is covered. I'm just gonna try to put down some landmarks and see if I can sort of work the body out from under the the cloak. Hmm. So it's interesting. Um, I may be drawing him a little out of proportion, but I think I'm pretty close. Um, but see how like far the peck is, or, or the the space between the pecks is from. The clavicle, the, the dip in the clavicle, that should be aligned. So you can either move the body over or move the head over or something, but it's a, it's a little out of a line. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually redline the body on its own layer, and then I'll just sort of slide them into position and you can get a better idea of like uh, how you would go about it. So, oops. So multiply. So there's the ribs. Base of the packs. I'd say the nipples would fall about there. This is where the no-no area is. So this little area that I've marked with an X, um, if he was like really super defined, this would be where the split in the muscles at the top of the leg is. And then eventually they would um, Y off at the knee, like pretty much out of frame though. You wouldn't really be able to see that that high, but <clears throat> that's kind of like the area where they cinch up into the body and uh, connect to the the hip area and the hip socket. So, um, 
Now, again, this is an alien character, so maybe I shouldn't even be talking about this, but if this is the belly button, it actually needs to just go a little higher. I, as a rule of thumb, I like to have it fall between the, um, oh, what would this be? The second and third ab row. <laughs> I don't know what, like, the technical term for that would be, but the... I like to have the belly button fall like right in there. And belly buttons come in a variety of ways, so however you want to draw that, feel free. But uh, this is getting low. This is like getting into uh, like where the pelvic area would be. So, yeah, burrs. Do that. Stop it. I don't want to look at my recording. Okay, so now here comes the place where we're doing some decision making. Uh, like I said, you can either move the body over or move the head. I'm going to move the body over. Yeah, I'm going to move the body over. I was just thinking if I wanted to. So there we go. Now I don't know where his arms are supposed to be. I'm not even going to try to guess. <laughs> They are somewhere out in there, under the cloak, I would assume. Uh, and I think I've somehow like twisted his hips a little bit. Almost made this like too thin or something. I mean, guys do narrow at the waist somewhat, but not this much. Yeah, I would maybe like over. I would turn this all just a little more. This is kind of like unseen because it's under the cloak, but having an understanding of where it should be will help your uh, drawing be stronger in the long run. This is fun. I haven't really gotten to draw too many muscly men in my time redlining, so. And I I can always use the practice, that's for damn sure. Uh, sorry, I'm just checking out what I've done. Okay, I'm actually going to go over the cloak just a little bit too, though this is more just because I want to, <laughs> then, uh, then rather than it needs it. And again, I could always use the practice. <laughs> I'm not sure, like, what... I 
how this is all supposed to go. I'm just like having too much fun. I like to draw like the swooshiness. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel bad now. I'm like doing stuff I don't need to be doing. I'm having fun though. Anyway, um, this is kind of a, another quick one. Um, but I have a big surprise coming for next week that I need to work on. So yeah. All right. I'll uh, see you guys later. Okay. Bye.